sound. We're rolling. 71 Baker take four, A mark. I love you, buddy. 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 And you're a star. And action. Oh my god, Airbud, bye. <laughs> it's a little intimidating to be working opposite uh, Buddy. I mean, he is a big star. He gets a separate trailer. This is my air conditioning. They share a trailer. I feel really proud to be able to work with them and be able to say, hey, I worked with Buddy. Buddy, I mean, yeah, he's, he's Buddy, right? He's, he's pretty famous. He's, he is the modern day Lassie. He's, he's a cool dog. I've had dogs before, and they were not that smart. <laughs> The trainer, Paul, has spent three months with this dog. I mean, on this film, but then the dog goes home with him. I mean, this is a relationship that's been cultivated, and that dog has been, you know, finely tuned. And I think that that particular breed of dog is uh, so happy looking. You know, there are dogs that when you look at them, they seem to be smiling. And I think that's why people really respond to them. And action. Three, two, one. Cut. Go again. When I first arrived, I was still, like, amazed. I was like, am I dreaming? Is this, like, not real? And I met everyone in the first night before shooting. I remember I was so scared. Okay, now, Mark. Actually, Sorry. no, time is the essence here. One more. Here we go. It was a lot of fun, and it was a great experience. You know what's funny? It's just the, the air on the set is so cool and sort of equalized by this dog. Great Good. job, buddy. Great job. We no, won. Walker, <laughs> You're awesome. Because <laughs> it's like, well, how serious are you going to get? And how much, you know, who's going to be tripping out or having weird attitude? It's like there's this dog chasing the ball, barking. It's like, it's fun, you know? They brought one of the dogs out, Brandy, and she showed me some tricks that she knew. The leap through the tire thing and did the little things where you go in and out of all the little poles and everything. I don't know, I want a dog ever since I've started the movie. All I've been saying to my mom at least five times a day, Mom, I want a dog, I want a dog. And my dad says, okay, well, what kind do you want and stuff? And I said, I want a golden retriever. Being on a set with children and animals, it's filled with energy and youthfulness and fun. And so even the adults start to gain that energy and it just, it spreads and it's daily and it's really, it's a really nice environment. The whole set has a, has a family feel to it. I mean, you just have moms here, the kids, and of course you have Buddy. I've always said that film units are like families anyway. Every film is. Sometimes they can be like a really uh, a family that's not getting on together at Christmas. Uh, but luckily on the Keystone pictures we seem to have the opposite. It's, it is a happy family atmosphere, yeah. There's something just so universally wonderful about dog movies. You just root for them. You root for the kids. You, you know, the kids always have an obstacle to get over with, you know, whatever sport they're trying to tackle and it's not working. And to, just to know that your dog is going to come rescue you is so great. It's just such a heartwarming and wonderful idea. And sometimes you do have to park the kids in front of the video. And what better values can you have than, you know, loyalty and resourcefulness and love? You watch the previous Airbud movies and it all kind of it leads up to this, right? And I think that's so cool that it's not just a, this brand new movie and a brand new game. and It's still continuing from the Fram house and I think that's a really neat effect that they've had on the sequels. If you're excited about Airbud and you love Airbud, then you want to see the same, you want to see the same house. You want to see, you know, what the dogs do and you want to see the dogs help the kids. I mean, it's enough the same and yet I think it's different enough that each time it would be really exciting and fun to watch. Kids want to watch it over and over again and, and it makes them think and it makes them feel sad sometimes and happy sometimes and there's this built-in ups and downs like in life and they can feel it. So I think the kids get it. So uh, on behalf of uh, Timber of uh, the Chief, a little bit of Mark. So on behalf of the uh, Ferndale Timberwolves, nuts. <laughs> so on behalf of the Fern Field, Fern Field, Fern Field, Fern Field. Oh. Well, that was easy. We got it. <laughs> Maybe you could come see me. You know, where I live. Where do I live again? <laughs> Holly! Oh. <laughs> Holly! 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 Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Go Timberwolf! She needs our support right now. So, you... <laughs> Okay, Ma? No. Ma? A mark, B mark. Did you find the football leak? Uh, thank you. <laughs> Did you find the football? Volleyball leak? Yeah. <laughs> American trivia is a little. <laughs> <laughs>